Hi there, it's Steve Harris with MuseThemes.com. Let's take a look at how to publish your website using Adobe's Business Catalyst hosting. So you've got a new client and they've asked you to build a website, but they don't have any existing hosting or domain or anything like that. So as I discussed in our previous video, you've been sending your client links to review throughout the process by just hitting the publish button in Muse and publishing up to a new Business Catalyst temporary site. So I'm gonna publish this up again to a site called museexperts.businesscatalyst.com and we'll just click OK and let this publish up. Okay, perfect. So now that our website is published using this Muse Experts temporary domain and our clients reviewed the site and they signed off on it, they love the look of it, it's ready to go. Now let's go ahead and launch the site using Business Catalyst. The reason that Business Catalyst is such an easy host to select with Muse is because you can publish out just as easily as I demonstrated um, in earlier in this video. So. The thing that we need to do now to actually activate this site on the web and plug in or link it up to a domain name is we need to push this site live. And there's a couple ways to do this. So you can actually just add the word admin to the end of the URL here. And when you hit that, it brings you to a login for your website. It says Adobe's Business Catalyst and you can enter your email and password. Another way to get to this screen is directly in Muse. If you click on file, and manage Business Catalyst site, it's going to jump on the web and it's going to bring you to the exact same spot. The only difference in this case is it didn't ask you for your login information, it just went right into the dashboard because it's using your login that you've already used from Muse. So once you've logged into your kind of dashboard here, you can see you'll have some analytics and underneath where it says site plan, it says web hosting, free site, and it gives you the ability to click launch site. And over here it says your site is not yet launched. You can add a custom domain. You can use this link to share work with your customer or you can just delete this site out if you don't need it. So as I mentioned before, um, Creative Cloud memberships actually come with five free hosting accounts for Muse, which is really awesome because hosting can cost $100 a year for your clients. And if you use your client's sites under the free hosting plan or under your free hosting plan, you could potentially bill your clients for those hosting charges anyway, and maybe even cover your Creative Cloud membership. This account or the account I'm using for this demo is actually just a paid Muse subscription. So if I click on launch site, it says here that our Creative Cloud membership includes one web hosting site. We have one live site remaining. Would I like to launch this site live? You know what? I'm going to use this site for Muse experts. So let's go ahead and launch the site. So it says your site is being launched. Okay, so once the site is launched, it says your site is now live at this domain. To change the URL, you can add custom domain details. So what, what this means is if your client, for example, already owns a domain, let's say it's www.museexperts.com, you can point that domain to this new hosting account that you've set up. So in that case, you'd wanna click add a domain, and then it brings you to some setup process here that you'll need to do. I'm gonna cover this in a video later on because we're actually gonna go ahead and purchase that domain and I'll show you how to link it up to Business Catalyst. So remember, take advantage of those five free site hosting plans that you have through your Creative Cloud membership. And remember that the domain pointing process is really simple and so we'll cover it in a later on video. Thanks again and tune in for the next one.